We got game one of this best of three lower bracket matchup. It's a rematch of what was essentially decided for the third place at TI8, of course, where LGD defeated Evil Geniuses to make it to the finals. They get the kill, though, on a chalice. As crit, not going to be turned on because he's a little too quick from the Eidolons. As Ame, he's dead. He doesn't have Doppelganger for 12 more seconds. Even Sumail comes in. He's like, I want an assist. In fact, he'll just take the kill. That Blink Dagger, of course, is going to be much slower. He's just going to charge in. He's got to call now. Just going to go simply for the Enigma. What terrible in the Metamorphosis. You have Crystal Maiden as well. No chance for survival from the Enigma. Bottom lane, S4. TP allows him to TP out. Yes, he gets out in time. I haven't been I haven't seen a lot of DKs recently. By the way, Stampede in. Axe, that's a dead axe. And now they make their way to the middle lane. Of course, the other dragon form, that helm of the Dominator as well. It's Flash just going to spam out the wave the best he can with that Crystal Nova. And obviously freezing the creep. So going to get some help with the Dominator. Global Science does come out. He got the split off, though. Stun on a Dragonite. He's going to be lifted up in the air, set up around him. Crit running in for the Berserker's Call. Last word is up. We'll get silenced, but oh, the purge comes down on top of that. Dragonite's in trouble. There's the call that catches Enigma as well. He's running a move for the black hole. He goes down, though. As a result, the call being waited for so long ended up working out beautifully for Crit. And X Nova manages to TP out in time, but obviously they lose two. And they're going to lose the mid tier one on top of that. So maybe going in. He opens up on a Brewmaster. Global Silence follow-up. Can they burst him down before the Primal Split? He has a wand. Oh, the save from Crit. He gets it there in time with the call, but he cannot get the Primal Split off. Prioritize the Crimson card this game. He's going to go to the fines at least early on, which is still good, of course, on him. As Artisi's caught, by the way. Hoof Stomp not coming out just yet. The Dragon Tail will be first. There's the Hoof Stomp. But the Moonlight Shadow's kicking and allows it to center at the last second on DK. And the Metamorphosis, however, the Black Hole from Chalice using that Blink Dagger of his. The new toy, the follow-up damage is very lacking, though. Dragonite, he's low on life himself. He wasn't sure about a double kill for Crit as a result. And now Chalice going now fly. That Freezing Field does get taken out. Doing some damage before, though, as Ame gets picked off elsewhere, by the way. Triple kill for Crit as he was waiting just long enough with the Calling Blade to secure the kill. But Chalice back to full life. He manages at least to take out Axe. Metamorphosis ready to go. They get some vision down, EG. And it's running at LGD right now. They, they see the Dragonite. Are they going in? They sure are. It's not an easy kill, though. Chalice is ready in response with the Black Hole. There's a Global Silence. Chal or Dragonite is dropping. He will go down. You see Chalice. He's like he could never really find the angle. LGD is collapsing on this, though. Now, Dragonite does not have a buyback. They are going to lose Silence Rap to the side. So LGD, don't think you want to be fighting this anymore to the BKB in the previous fight. Call. He catches the Phantom Lancer. Find the right one. Let's are going back in as there's the black hole from Chalice. That's for the back lines going after Ex Nova, but that black hole doing work as they hope for the immediate buyback from Crit, though. And of course, Resurrection with Terrible now on the Aegis. So the black hole was great and all, but now what do you got for me, fam? Get the kill on the silencer. Lift up. It's maybe bringing him down with the purge into the frostbite. Battle Hunger is going to be applied, and Terrible is running at him. No metamorphosis, not necessary. The Berserker's call and the Coaling Blade to cut his head off and finish the job. So I would say that's a well worth Aegis, especially if they manage to catch up to the... Oh, that arrow, that would have been something. Buyback, by the way, on the Silencer. Ame's just in desperation, though. He's trying to get out of here some way, somehow. Running through the trees with that Stampede. Up to the side, Sunder at the last second for Terrorblade. With the uh, Silencer, they end up securing the kill on the call. Eventually catches the Phantom Lancer. EG did a fantastic job of spreading their bodies out right there and not giving any direction for Phantom Lancer to go. Crit is going to be taken out by FY meanwhile, so the fight continues. But Ava Genius says, damn it, you piss us off even more. FY will fall. The Frostbite on Enigma. He's going to go down again after killing Fly, I suppose, but a double kill for Samael. And EG, they are rolling on all cylinders at this point. Up 6,000 net worth, 21-9 hero kill lead. Radiant structures. Centaur. Stampede, TP. Yeah. Zerker's call, pretty good at stopping those TP. Crit, another kill. The support axe is most certainly doing a work. Tier 2 tower goes down. Dragonite. Um, what are you doing? Why would he... Maybe, if the plan was to die, fantastic. But I, I, that was just odd. The team was not following up whatsoever. They got, yeah, used a global silence. That was just... It's almost like Coach Eagle is giving up. Enigma's now caught as well. No black hole for him. He goes down. He does have a buyback, uh, but they don't have a DK for 30 seconds. That's a tier 3 tower kill. That's definitely the Rax. 
Lift up on PL. He's going to the fountain, though. That would be an ambitious dive. The arrow is going to miss. Oh, it hit him! After the doppelganger, it actually hit the real one, but you don't necessarily know that, and they're not going to overcommit for it. So <laughs> it'll just fall back instead. I am still at a loss for what just happened right there. You know, he just... He just bought those there, and he ends up losing the courier, so he doesn't have a buyback now, as well as no heart. That was absolutely the worst case scenario for Phantom Lancer. So, he's less of an item, as well as no buyback, and you just see all the illusions just going at it terribly. The jump in from S4, nice global signs with the BKB, and then the primal split. Anyways, the black hole does come out, it catches Terrible, Terrible getting low. Moonlight shadows, and there's the Sunder. Chalice will get immediately bursted down as a result. Phantom Lancer just lifted up. It doesn't seem like PL is doing a whole lot in this fight. They just call GG. They say, all right, we give up. Let's go to game two. And EG, they'll do just that. Dominating fashion, got to say. Game number two, the Quota Lumper Major, Evil Geniuses versus LGD. You see Magnus is trying to tank it. What is going on here? The double dire wave. They go for the kill. They get the kill. X Nova with the rip to finish the job. Might come at a cost, though. Crit going to go for the turn. No, it's not. He gets out in time with the TP. Well played. And that he does. Uh oh, Dream Quill hits Chalice though, but with no follow up stun, it's not enough though to save him. The TP that is, there's too much damage. Spectre able to run him down. And now they're going over after X Nova. As a Stampede activated, helping get closer. Another Illusory Orb. And the Dagger. They're going to get the skill. Get some earn charges. Oh, but out comes a tombstone. Plenty of response, and never mind by them. I mean, LGD. Out comes the RPS. Well, but Centaur, apparently pretty damn tanky. He's a tough kill, maybe. Trying to finish the job. Going with the skewer forward as well. The toss, the combo, the double kill in the end for it, maybe. In the back lines, though, they will lose Rubik. Crit. Constantly moving around. He does have some earn charges. Going to throw them off on X Nova, but 20 stacks of that decay. Boy, is he beefy. Triple kill in the Emperor Tiny. Arteezy looking to clean up the final hit. Not enough damage. Again, he's so damn tanky. Now Arteezy, he has to be careful not to get caught over here himself. So mails in. Misses that winning whip initially. Has a dream quest. So Arteezy went too deep for this. A toss will finish the job. Ends up being an ultra kill for Tiny when it's all set. And this could be a rampage. In the very end, is Samil, can he lose the orb in time, it looks like, with the jaunt? He's good. He's going to pick up a battery right along the way, but another toss in. The phase ship coming through. Waning Rift to throw out the silence, but they got the chase. The Fate Bolt spam, and Sumail goes down. Evil geniuses going way too deep, way too committed for a kill. He's going to no boots, Weaver build. FY rotating in. FY, he's on well, the swarm. Didn't really hit, but it doesn't matter. Although, maybe he burst down Silencer. No global Silence to use. He had a ready. I'm going to get it off right there. That was some male drink oil still ready. Looking for an angle to use it on, perhaps. He's going to win a rift. RP cancel. Chalice wants this kill. The RP pulls him back in in the back lines. Another fight breaking now. The Soul Rip heals up Luna. The last second, Arteezy going for the kill. But he gets turned up with the loser being. They get the kill Luna, but it's all set. And I'm like, crit now. Can he clean up? Chalice locked down by the puck with that drain call. So puck after it's all set and done. He's trapped up here, though. They don't know that. Oh, Tiny going in. The face shift. Can't she get away in time somehow? The Lucario finally comes up. The Avalanche could have missed. And yes, Puck will survive, at least for now. Another face shift coming through. Do they have a lift, maybe? No, not yet. Still on cooldown. Tiny toss. He's going to be silenced up. Finally gets a toss. Off. No Avalanche. It doesn't matter. Unstoppable. Or maybe. So finally, they run down the Puck. Yeah, Centaur in the sun. So I don't know if they have enough damage, though. Oh, they're going to try for it. Okay, yeah, with the Haunt. The immediate lift and the Shrine Pub. Uh oh, this is looking bad for EG as far as getting turn off, perhaps. Uh, crit comes in. They do get the kill onto Luna. She throws out a loose beam right before she dies, but now, again, they are deep. Samail ready to join the fight, though. And Undying will run right into a death trap himself. He goes down. Fight that ulti form. Toss away onto Centaur. And Tiny's caught on the Dream Quill. He's going to have to take the snap. He's trying to run on out. The urn's up on him as well. Chalice also trying to jet on out of here. They pick up Silencer. Give away that smoke. Smoke is just about to wear off, however. Luna, that's a juicier target, but too far. Uphill, Centaur jumps in. Here we go. There's the first up front. Can't you get the BKB off? It looks like it at the last second. The haunt in from Arteezy. Not enough damage for the kill eventually, but they do get that kill. Arteezy haunts back in and secures it. They kill the tombstone as well. Great jump from Evil Geniuses. They're going to take out. Uh, dying on top of that. 
And now they're going to try to find Chalice. Yep, the Yules will catch him. Drinkwell's still even ready for Puck. She didn't even need to use it that whole fight. As they take out the Magnus, and that's going to be a nice transition into the tower. So the patience pays off for Evil Geniuses. Haunts down for 45 seconds, so good reason as to why they're thinking about this. Now they're even attempting it. Drinkwell is ready, though. Puck scouting it out with the Orb. Arteezy. Spectral Dagger's in. He does have the Reaver on him, so he's a bit tankier. Dying charges up the RP. It only catches Silencer, however. He can stop the Global Silence. Yeah, he gets killed off before he can do it. Roshan's still plenty of life. Drinkle hits multiple heroes. I want to say three, if not four. BKB committed by Luna. It's snatched by Chris. The Aegis that is. He gets it up. They get the call to Magnus. Ame is holding his ground here on Luna, putting in the auto attacks. Crit made it falling. But again, he has the Aegis anyways. They did lose Puck in the midst of the fight. And Crit is getting low, but still with the Aegis. And now a time lapse ready to go. Rubik. Having to put himself in the air with the Yules over here. Tiny finishes the job on Arteezy, and they get the Aegis use from Crit. Maybe the end of being the victim of this uh, smoke gank going up. Oh, never mind, they find Magnus. TP's not going to work. They're just going to commit a drink coil for it. And eventually, going to get the kill with the double edge. Support's coming over, though. Yes, maybe. Opens up the sides here. Hot in. Luna, possibly KB. So we have the fight breaking out him further now. Again, it maybe is so freaking tanky. The Stampede running around. They're chasing after this tiny. He is a very tough go, but they want it. Damn it, the Spirit Vessel goes up. He is dropping quickly, and they're going to kill maybe in the end. It looks like they do. The way to finish the job, and they take it on dying despite that Flesh Golem form. Without her, that, that damage throughout the fight is definitely lacking. They got the up front with Tiny. And speaking of up front with the uh, burst damage, they're going to lose Centaur as he jumped into an Eclipse coming out from Luna. You see the yields on up. Oh, the take cover on the RP. The reaction timing from Sumail. Avoids the RP. Does he actually get out, though? No, he does not. So it looks pretty, but in the long run, they get the kill. Oh, Luna once again. We've seen this before. The Haunted, the big burst up front. The Spirit Vessel's up as well. She pops a BKB, but it's just not going to be enough, it looks like. Or will it? Oh, he haunts it further. Maybe it will. Ami survives. He ran the whole damn time. Stampede chase, though. Lift up onto Magnus. He still has his RP. He's going to skewer back into the base. They catch the Tiny still. Oh, or Tiny caught them. I think that's more the case. So Mill gets heavily bursted. He's taken out. Sizer's dead as well. But Arteezy a little tougher to burst. However, Krakatchel's still good on him. He yields him up. He could be piercing or not. The, the stun duration is also really good. Middle lane. Do they jump tiny? Again, he's a tough kill. They're going to go for it. Haunt in. Very tough kill. They catch FY, though. Yul's on up. He's trying to run the other direction with the Shikuchi, but of course they got the Mage of the Dream Quill, and they will lock him down enough for the kill. FY is not buying back. He is dead for 75 seconds. Now RP, Chalice didn't actually cast it, but he catches RTZ, eventually goes for the RP. In comes a counter, the Eclipse bouncing around. Centaur doing what he can to save the day, S4. The time last was also used on Spectrum to keep it alive. S4 does go down, but Chalice is getting low himself. RTZ following up on a maybe, gets the kill on him. Ame, good to Satanic, and it's a good auto attacks in. Yul's on up, though. And RTZ low, he's decided to back off. Tiny bought back especially. Crit almost ties to the rib heal. Catch on dying. Skewer backwards. Only caught. Uh, oh, I'm not sure. Actually, time lapse was used, it looks like. Roshan still has plenty of life. Ami caught with that Ag Stream Coil. Eventually, still trying to kill Roshan, though. Arteezy running in the global size, and it's snatched up by Crit once again. He's so good at snatching that Aegis. And the S4 double stomp on top of that. They get the one kill, and dying's already dead. Weaver goes down, but of course, the Aegis is going to bring her right back up. Luna, not enough damage. The Satanic does not save her, and she falls. Arteezy was killed off in response. But Samil finishes the job on a tiny. Arteezy's by himself. He's in trouble. He doesn't realize it. RP. They combo lock him down. Can he actually get out of this? Where's that time lapse? Still waiting for it. He is going to stay alive for the time being as he haunts away. And now they're turning the Dream Coil, hitting many heroes. I want to say at least four of them, it looks like, with an axe effect. Remember, the Global Science on top of that for the buyback of Fly. Over here, Samael is chasing. He wants to finish off Chalice. We'll do that with the waiting Rift and the Lucifer Orbs the other direction. In the back lines, Luna, though, still just does some good damage on Dying Pies. Back by Luna. S4 with the lockdown and the waiting Rift in the face. Crit even gets the double kill when it's all set and on RTZ. He was the one that was jumped at the beginning. We're not done just yet. Maybe goes back in for the kill. He is going to get the one kill. So takes out the. Spectre as well, but he falls right after. No buyback, by the way, on Luna as well as Tiny. EG knows this. They're going for the win. But well, there's no way he's going to be able to do enough. Magnus, Magnus is up in one second. 20 seconds for an RP, though. Go for a skewer play. He's going to miss that anyways. As for he just saw that coming a mile away. And that's it. GDs are officially called. Game two and the series goes to Evil Geniuses. And once again, they advance on to the top four of Kuala Lumpur Major.
congratulations to them. Definitely very well deserved. They are looking really clean right now here in this event, I gotta say.